Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, where I'm much too short to be a stormtrooper. Uh, today we are doing another pet collecting video, and our filter today is uh, pets that you get from professions. Uh, some of them we will have covered before because they come in drops from specific professions, so try to power through it pretty quickly. Uh, so let's begin. The first one is the Clockwork Gnome, and the Clockwork Gnome you get from Archaeology, and it is a dwarf one. Um, pretty sure we've talked about this one before, but... Yeah, so you get him from doing uh, any of the dwarf archaeology bits. Uh, Snarly, Chuck, Muckbreath, and Toothy, uh, you get from doing the Shatrath Fishing Daily Crocolis in the city. So what you're going to do is do your fishing dailies in Outland, and the guy is sitting right about here, I think, yeah, right in here on this little flat edge, and he'll get a daily, and the daily you want is called Crocolis in the city. And uh, you go to either Stormwind or Ogamar, depending on your faction, and you fish in the canals, and you'll fish up a little one of these, go back to Outland, uh, give him the uh, Crocolisk, and he'll give you a fishing bag. You get a fishing bag with all of the, uh, for each of the fishing dailies as a reward, but you'll only have a chance to get these guys if you do the Crocolisk in the city one. Uh, the next one is Voodoo Figuring. This is another archaeology one. You get it from doing Troll. Uh, fossilized hatching, Hatchling, another archaeology one from Fossil. Giant Sewer Rat you get from fishing in the Dalaran Sewer. So you need to go to Dalaran, go um, underneath the city to the sewers, and just fish up anywhere and you'll get an achievement for getting him. Uh, Magical Crawdad, you get an achievement for getting this one too, kind of. Uh, you need to have at least 430 fishing, and you need to or be able to get that with a pole or um, lures attached to your fishing pole. Um, and you need to uh, be able to fly in Outland to do it. Um, and you fly up in the mountain areas, uh, again in Terracar Forest, so um, anything in Skedis you can get um, up in the waters here. Anything where you can't actually walk up there with them, you actually have to fly up there. And uh, you fish in the Highland Mixed Schools, and you have a chance to get uh, Mr. Pinchy, and that will give you the achievement, and then Mr. Pinchy has three wishes, and you can do one a day, and then um, they each one you have a chance to get the pet. Uh, Teradax Hatchling is another uh, archaeology one. You get that one from Fossil. Strand Crawler you get from doing um, either the, the Bag of Fishing Treasures from Dalaran Fishing Dailies, uh, and she's right by the fountain in Dalaran where you do the coins, um, or if you do any of the uh, main city fishing dailies. So for Alliance, it's Ironforge, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Ironforge, Darnassus, and Stormwind. They're the different sets of fishing dailies, and if you do them all, you get an achievement. You get a couple achievements, actually. Um, and then, so for the Horde ones, I would assume it's Thunder Bluff, Undercity, and Ogremar, um, if we're going right across there. Uh, so yeah, they just come in the, uh, they just come out of the treasure bags that you get when you complete a daily. doesn't matter which daily, you can do any of them. Uh, so, on to uncommons. Uh, do you weaponize mechanical companion? Comes from engineering. Uh, not buy none pickup, so you can get these on the auction house really easily, but you, they are a pet that you get via engineering. Enchanted lantern is an enchanting pet you get if you have enchanting, and this is the horde one. Um, magic lamp down here is the alliance one. Uh, Imperial moth if that's not the creepiest thing I've ever seen, you've ever seen, I don't know what is. And Imperial Silkworm, you get from doing um, Pandaren tailoring, and I have tailoring so I can show you exactly how it's done. Um, so when you make Imperial Silks, you can do it with um, five bolts of windwool cloth and three spirits of harmony, or you can do the once a day one, um, which gives you the Silkworm cocoon, and by doing that you learn um, epic, or uh, not epic, uh, blue, um, tailoring recipes that are Pandaren, higher higher level Pandaren recipes for cloth. Um, and in the bags itself, it has you'll get a piece of Imperial Silk and it has a chance to drop. Um, the Imperial Silkworm is really common and the Imperial Moth, um, it shows up as a blue, but when you click on it, it's actually an uncommon pet. Um, and yeah, this one's pretty rare to get, but they're on the auction house. So you, if you don't have tailoring or if you're not having much luck getting it, if you have tailoring, just get it from the auction house. Uh, Jade Owl is one that you'll get from Jewel Crafting. Lifelike Toad is a um, uh, engineering one, sorry, as is Little Smokey. 
as is the mechanical pander and dragon link. So it looks like the ones that you can get um, when you hit Exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent. Uh, mechanical Squirrel is also engineering. Personal World Destroyer is also engineering. Uh, Pet Bombling is also engineering. Sapphire Cub you get from Jewel Crafting. Uh, sea Pony is from fishing, but you need to fish in Dark Moon Isle. Oh, and I'm liking again. Uh, you need to fish in Dark Moon Isle to get this one. Um, so anywhere on the water in Dark Moon is totally fine. Uh, Tranquil Mechanical Yeti is another engineering one. Uh, and Chiji Kite, and these are non-battling ones, as you can see. And Yulong Kite, you get from Inscription. Uh, that was a, another Pandaren one. Um, and then there's only four that I don't have, which I, don't know, I thought was pretty good. Uh, Crawling Claw, Crawling Claw is another archaeology one you get from doing Tolvir, which is the archaeology things in Aldum. Uh, and the four carps here you get from fishing in Pandaria. So the blue one you get from fishing in Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Um, you can get them from a specific pool, uh, the crowded red belly mandarin pools in Taolong for the Nismiao, however you say it, um, fishing dailies. Um, so that's how you get the blue one. Your best bet, though, is the fish in uh, Veil of Eternal Blossoms. The green carp you can get from Jade Forest Valley of the Four Winds or Krazerang Wilds. The red carp you can get from Town Long Steps or Dread Wastes. And the tiny white carp you get from Kunlai Summit. I should mention that each of these four, the blue, the green, the red, and the white, are extremely difficult to get. Um, I have seen one person with them um, since they came out in 5.2 and it's it's pretty difficult to get. Um, you need to have very high fishing. I would recommend getting the highest fish, highest um, fishing bonus pole that you have. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted to open. As you can see, I have the uh, jeweled fishing pole, and that increases my skill by 30, so that gets me to 630. And then I add um, glowworms onto it, which makes it 730, so. Um, and even then, I'm still not having luck. Your best bet is to get them in pools, um, because if you're getting a lot of golden carp, it means you're getting a you have the chance to get a lot of trash, so you're not going to have as good a chance. So look for pools that are unique to that specific area, or just go to pools in general, really, and you have a better chance of getting them. I uh, hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Leave your comments in the comments below. Have a beautiful day.